All right, we're going to take a walk through our motor control lab here where we have 30 stations that will support both the PLC programming class and this motor control class. You can see the stations all along the room here. There are two motors per station, one for the PLC control and one for the motor control. As we go through the room real quickly here, we'll take a look inside just in a moment. This is our ADA accessible station, a little lower height so everyone can reach the buttons. Demonstration station where programming will be demonstrated. A few motor control diagrams up on the wall and don't forget the first aid kit on the wall there as we go flying by it. And a little overall view of the entire lab. Now looking at the box here, this area is for the PLC class only, and that's where the wiring will be taking place in there. And this next section is where you will be doing your wiring for this motor control class. We need to make sure these areas are kept separate and not crossed over in between the two. We go down here to this bottom corner here. This is where the power comes in. You're the red and black leads right there, the incoming single phase 120, 240, and one line, 120 volt line, is used for your box, and the other is used for the PLC half. Your tools are kept in a drawer below your station. We'll unlock them every day, check to make sure everything's there like this. And you'll see the screwdrivers. We've got the small flathead, small Phillips medium flathead and a little larger Phillips. They're all in there. Each have a place where they go. Then we have the crimping tool that will be used in class for crimping the terminals. There's a wire stripper. All different kinds of gauges on there. Then we have a close cut wire cutters. What's nice about these is really a flush cut wire cutter so you can cut right up against something. And the last piece of tools that you have here are the leads and the clamp on ammeter slash multimeter and the leads for voltage reading and ohms plug into the bottom of the uh, meter there as you can see. The left hand side of the box is for your manuals and the few extra components and you want to make sure everything looks like this on the right before you lock up. 